गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टी ओके सो ले स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इलेवन रीड द क्वेश्चन वट इज द क्वेश्चन गोपी बाइज अ फीस फ्रॉम अ शॉप फॉर हिज एक्वाड्रियम द शॉपकीपर टेक्स आउट वन फीस एट रैंडम फ्रॉम अ टैंक कंटेनिंग फाइव मेल फीस एंड एट फीमेल फीस वट इज द प्रोबाबिलिटी that the fees taken out is a male fees so what is there one container is there okay so in a container in a container how many female fees are there eight female fees okay and how many male fees are there five male fees okay so the total fees in the containers are 8 plus 5 equal to 13 Okay, so total number of outcomes equal to thirty. We have to find out the probability the fees taken out the male fees. So how many male fees are there? Five. So probability equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcome. So this is male fees. So five male fees. So five by thirteen is your answer. Now see, here I have written male fees equal to five. Female fees is equal to eight, so total fees is equal to thirteen. That that means total number of outcomes equal to thirteen. Now read the question. We have to find the probability that the fees taken out is a male fees. So therefore, the probability that the fees taken out is a male fees, p male fees equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcomes. So male fees. How many male fees are there? Five. so number of uh, favorable outcome equal to 5 and total outcome equal to 13 so 5 by 13 so your answer is 5 by 13 okay students very easy question you read question two time three time then solve okay then it will be easy for you okay now next question that is question number 12 read the question a game of chance consists Of spinning an arrow which comes to rest, pointing at one of the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and these are equally likely outcomes. What is the probability that each will point number one eight, number two an odd number, number three a number greater than two, and number four a number less than nine? Okay, so start. Okay, so this is the pointer. Okay, this is the pointer. In pointer, how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So total number marked equal to eight. How many numbers are there? Numbers are total numbers equal to eight. Therefore, total number of possible outcomes equal to eight. Our first question is we have to point out the probability when the pointer points at eight. So I have written the heading. First question is. we have to find out the probability when pointer points at 8 so total number of outcome equal to 8 therefore number of possible outcome in uh, in this spin how many time eight are there only one time so number of favorable outcome equal to 1 8 number is only one time so number of favorable outcome equal to 1 therefore probability A when pointer points at a equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of out possible outcome. So number of favorable outcome equal to one. So one by eight is your answer. Okay. Now next question. Next question there is question number two. Okay. When pointer points at an odd number. So now look at the diagram. How many odd numbers are there? One, three, five. And seven. These are the odd numbers. So how many odd numbers are there? Four. How many? Four. So number of favorable outcome equal to four. So the probability when pointer points at an odd number equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of outcomes. So number of favorable outcome equal to four. So here given it is four by four uh, by eight. So uh, cross four ones are four and four twos are eight. So your answer is one by two. 
Now question number three. Find the probability when pointer points at a number greater than two. So the greater than two numbers are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So number of greater than two are how many? Six. Okay. So number of favorable outcomes also six. So we have to find the probability when pointer points at a number greater than two equal to p greater two equal to p within bracket greater two. That is probability of numbers greater than two equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcome. So number of favorable outcome equal to six and total outcome equal to eight. So six by eight. Now cut here six by eight. So two three are six. And two fours are eight. So your answer is three by four. Okay. Now fourth question. Fourth question. When po pointer points are number less than nine. So students look at the spin. All numbers are here in this spin. All numbers are what less than nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All numbers are less than nine. So the probability of getting uh, uh where when the po pointer the number of less than nine numbers equal to how many eight and total outcome equal to eight so the probability when pointer points a number less than nine equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcome equal to eight by eight equal to one is your answer okay next question Next question very easy. A dice is thrown once. Okay, in play, a dice is uh, in playing Ludo. How many time? One time dice is thrown. Our question is find the probability of getting a prime number, a, a number lying between two and six, and all numbers. So first question is for prime number. So in a dice, how many numbers are there? One, two, three, three four, five, and six. Okay, so total outcome equal to six, and prime number. How many prime numbers are there? Two, three, and five. They are the prime numbers among these. So favorable outcome equal to three. So the so the probability of getting a prime number p within bracket prime equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcome. So it is three by six. So three ones are three. Three twos are six. So one by two is your answer. Okay. Then next question for a number lying between two and six. So which number lying between two and six? Three, four, and five. These three numbers. So favorable outcome equal to three. One, two, three, and total outcome equal to six. So the probability of getting a number lying between two and six are p. E. E here e denotes the number lying between two and six. Favorable outcome by total outcome equal to three by six. So one by two is also your answer. Okay, students. Next question number three. Pro, uh, find probability of an odd number. So how many odd numbers are there in dice? Odd numbers are one. Since the odd numbers are one, three, and five. So how many? Three. So favorable outcome equal to three. Therefore, the probability of getting an odd number p e equal to had e represents the odd number, number of favorable outcome by total number of possible outcome. So favorable outcome equal to three. So three by and total outcome equal to six. So three by six equal to one by two is your answer. Okay, students. In thirteen questions, three questions are there, and all three answers are one by two. Okay. Now today up to this much, okay. Question uh, up to thirteen. So today we solve how many question? Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. You read the question and solve. Okay. Bye.